was four through seven, even if you don't have the seven weeks. Does it say you eat dinner at nine o'clock? Yes. Oh, that's a great example. Every three hours that you're up, you can eat. The, the rule that what happened is a while back, things got morphed. Where people said, oh, well, I thought you couldn't eat past five or six or seven at night. No, you can eat every three hours that you're up. You just want to control what you're eating at those times. Protein and the vegetable. Uh, any vegetable is almost okay except for like carrots. And you be careful with beans. Don't let that fool you because they'll still have carbohydrates in them. Uh, and a starchy base, okay, corn and so on. But you can have vegetable salads. Uh, and then those would be from, say, three or four in the afternoon on. The meals before that would all be a meat and a vegetable. Excuse me, see your meat and a carb. You can have bread. Now, again, remember what we said in the beginning, you're going to evolve into better nutritionists. So what I mean is that you can have a white potato. You can say, well, yeah, you just have the sweet potatoes. They're better. Right? But yes, but a, you still have a potato. You can have a white bread or a brown bread or a rye bread. It doesn't matter. That's You can get super micromanaged on your nutrition, which I can help you if you want to go to the next level. But the point is, is that on basics, all those foods are good for you. Okay? There's not one that's just going to be... Now, there is... Their tears to say why things matter more. You know, take an apple when you smush it, it's very watery. But you take a banana, it's more substance, right? And just I'm sorry, you don't bananas. But the but you know, but the, the differences of how it how it feels, and then that makes a difference in how long something lasts for energy throughout the day. Okay. That equation thing took a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, uh, I didn't think it was good. But that is something that I would expect you guys to have questions about, and I want to help you make them. Okay. Um, I'm going to speed ahead a little bit on the workout one. Um, I, I'll start by saying this about the gym for you, for you guys. Do not be intimidated by the gym. It'll feel that way. You walk in, you're just going to be like, oh, wow, okay, what am I supposed to do next? Uh, somebody can set this up for me. Um, the gym is like your own. Any bench can be moved. You can take dumbbells and walk across the gym and set them by a machine and do a little workout in that section. You can grab a mat and take the mat and go anywhere that you want out there in the gym. The, 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 you can use anything in any capacity that you want. Um, it is a very clean, cleanliness, huge, cleanliness is huge to us. So we ask you to always wipe down equipment. Uh, people will do it around you. It, it's a routine habit. Um, I always believe that you can live dirty in a clean environment. Okay, so. Um, I want to clear up a couple myths before we get into your workouts. One is cardio means walking or running or swimming or jogging outside.